Bonjour, Gaga Gay, Dijnakaz, Bijou Dutem. Hi, my name is Raoul Wapuk. I'm from Show Lake, Ontario, and I want to tell you what does being a water leader means to me. Well, it's a great experience to be going to these workshops, I gotta say. I just can't even tell you why I love leadership so much, but it's like I'm married to leadership. <laughs> just kidding, but I guess I just love showing leadership and courage to my community. At first when I got interested in taking care and protecting our water is when I seen on the news one day. I'm pretty sure it was two years ago when I seen this. Somewhere in China they showed pictures and videos about their water being polluted. Their water looked all bubbly and dirty. That's why I want to do something about these cities and companies polluting our lakes so our water won't end up looking all bubbly and contaminated. Two years ago, Winnipeg tried building a new road which crossed onto our land. We thought about everything that would change and cause pollution, so we did something about it. We had a meeting with the community and the chief and council about the people in Winnipeg trying to build a new road. They thought the road we have right now, Trans-Canada Highway, was getting too bumpy, but we did disallowed them to start their construction. Another year, Winnipeg tried making a new pipeline. Everyone in my community was aware that it would pollute our water, but we refused to let them make the new pipeline. About 32 years ago, there was mining going on in our community. The people who were mining were trying to get the gold, which is under our lake. They stopped mining because water is more valuable than gold, but they're trying to start mining again. There's another thing. Two years ago, we walked to Winnipeg because they wanted to sell our water to other towns and cities. It took us five days to walk there, but it was all for a good cause. Everyone showed a lot of courage and strength, which made us strong as one. Terence Nelson offers us a penny and a bottle of water to symbolize the community's aspiration to procure $124 million a year from Winnipeg for profiting from our water. I'm going to tell you what I enjoyed about this past week. I enjoyed the workshop, but I mostly have to say that coming here and meeting new people was my favorite part of the whole week. Just coming out and having a great time, you know. Being able to come out and learn on what you can do to solve your water issues step by step. Honestly, I was scared to come here because I'm the youngest one, being the only 13 year old, but I gained confidence while coming here. No matter what your age is, you can succeed and do anything if you put your mind to it. <laughs> uh, oops, that ain't supposed to be a part of my presentation. But all what I'm trying to say is that I'm a water leader because I want to save our water so the next generation can enjoy the surroundings of nature. <laughs>